Vice Chaplain and Senior Prefect in the year 1991 has arrived. He's also the swimming captain, hockey captain and the house game captain. He's been welcomed by our principal, Mrs. Shamali Dunakila Kahira, and Vice Principal, Ms. Krishnika Galbavu. They will be accompanied by the Head of Sports, Mr. Richard Bandara, Assistant Sports Coordinator, Ms. Kanjana Gamwari, Sports Officer, Ms. Mainka Silva, James Teacher, Ms. Sanjeevan De Silva, and Ms. Ranga Leonide, together with the four house mistresses. <laughs> Dear Lord, we give you thanks this morning as we gather here in this ground with all the skills and talents that you have given us and especially the children with their ability to play and engage in sports. We realize, Father, that all that we do in school has a purpose and especially the sportsmanship that we enrich through sports will go a long way in our life's journey. And as they experience that and go through this formation, we pray for that we will make them important and valuable, especially valuable 
citizens of this nation are here. We commit them to the hands, we give the judges to be on their staff, and also for the kids and houses to receive either victory or defeat in the same way.
The oath will now be taken by the athletics captain of Bishop's College, Amani Juli. In a lot of competition, respecting the regulation, desires of participating in the true spirit of sportsmanship, for the honor of our school and the glory of school.
Participants of the 4 into 50 meter under 12, please call over at the marshalling point. 4 into 50 meter under 12. Thank you. 
Yes, 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 yes.
To our chief guest for this afternoon, my good friend, Ms. Mrs. Shiara Bandara Nayaka. Um, I think I was going to introduce your family and uh, your sons, and I think it's a big disappointment to our girls today. But um, she is here under very trying circumstances, and we are thankful that she has made it to be with us today. Uh, the Board of Governors. Uh, representative of the Board of Governors, Vice Principal Ms. Krishnika Galbadege, members um, of the Sports Department, Head of Sports Mr. Ruchira Bandara and his department, SLAA officials, coaches, past pupils, invitees, members of staff, parents, and my fantastic athletes and all students. A very good afternoon to all of you. As I warmly welcome you all to this much anticipated prize distribution after the sports meet for the year 2023, which has been postponed several times. Even yesterday, we were wondering what we should do. But because of the John Tarbert meet tomorrow, we thought we will do the best we can. And as always, we Bishopians get what we want. And yes, God spoils us just a little bit. Isn't it always great, a feeling, at the, a great feeling at the end of a sports meet, even if it's wet and muddy? I know you are all nervous and exhausted, but thank God that we had this event and weather, the weather held for us. Go Bishop's College indeed stands on sacred ground and God watches over us all. First of all, I would like to thank Mr. Ruchira Bandara and his team, Ms. Kanchana, Ms. Sanjeevani, Ms. Ranga, Ms. Menaka, and Ms. Dinesha, and all the athletes and coaches and teachers in charge of houses who have pushed themselves and put on a great event for us today, despite having to finish syllabuses and brave the weather, plus having to take part in numerous zonal and provincial meets which are haphazardly scheduled. Thank you, Dancer and Ms. Tanya, for preparing the bands for us in this erratic weather. And Mr. Ruchira for not allowing you all to get onto the grounds. You all were great. Thank you to the coaches, Mr. Joy Danushka, Mr. Sanjay Sandarwan, and Mr. Rohit Jaya Singha for training the athletes to get to the level that they are at today. Even with a huge break in between heats and finals, and training, uh, training hampered due to the weather, I'm so glad that we were able to have this meet and finish it off today. Congratulations to all the athletes, whether you broke records or not. I am so proud of you that we somehow managed to have this meet and thankfully which are without any injuries. I'm also proud of all the others who may have helped in any little way, from cheering at heats, to doing the decor, to taking part in the class events, to substituting if an athlete got ill, or taking part knowing you can't win, but that points will be added to your house, getting yelled at by a teacher when it wasn't your fault, and even training the little ones for the march past. Thank you to the captains for being so cordial and assisting each other when an athlete left or had to represent school at another sport. This is the Bishopian spirit that I talk about. This is the beauty of our sports meet, where every single child, even from the Educational Support Unit, gets a chance to participate. It's not always about winning and losing girls. It's about celebrating the Bishopian family. And I'm so proud that you seen seniors know that. For the grade sixers here today, remember that this rivalry and screaming only lasts during this meet. Afterward, these big akis are all best of friends and practicing and enjoying together. Even though they tease me about my house, you can ask them that I encourage them all and tell them that hard work is all that matters. 
to games captain vinaya vice games captains jamila and selina together with the four house captains harini atini vidara kiara and the office players you have been exceptional role models i admire your enthusiasm and focus with which you had to keep for months on end you are all winners to me to the parents who have supported the school and your daughters during difficult economic times for us all the high cost of living the full consumption for the trips up and down the huge data packages on their phones their absolutely incomprehensible schedules and last minute requests that are enough to make a sane parent insane but i'm so thankful to you all i saw some of you at 4 am this morning if the others don't know what i mean you may wonder why we went ahead but these are there are so many logistical things that we have to look at like exams and the meet and we couldn't postpone it again just keep in mind that these will be the best days of their lives and if they have difficult times later on these friends and memories are what will keep them going thank you to the parents who have helped us in other ways too from quadrangle our social media partner to the doctor on call to the sponsors and all others who silently help behind the scene i'm very grateful my sincere appreciation to my extremely efficient vice principal and all the sectional heads and teachers who have supported us with this meet from the from the animated announcing to the meticulous record keeping to the flawless prize table to the thoughtful refreshments mostly for putting up with my very difficult and exacting ways and for tolerating me postponing meetings because i sneak out of my office to watch heats sorry if that that is the way i de stress and to contrary to popular belief my black sarees don't come out just during that time last but certainly not least my thanks to the maintenance staff headed by mr janatha and mr himanta and all the support staff for working day and night obliging everyone especially our ground boy nimal who is on his 38th sports meet and has, and has kept the grounds as best he could even with all the flooding and lawn mower being sent for repairs time and time again thank you to all of you so today we have with us the dynamite as she was known in school mrs shiara bandar naika a very close friend of mine as we were in the hostel together together with ms shehani and many other sports women at a time when the hostelers ruled the school all 110 of us despite being so tiny which my son say now is politically incorrect to say shiara was shiara represented school at hockey swimming and table tennis she captain swimming and was vice captain of hockey and was appointed games vice captain in 1991 receiving colors for both hockey and swimming an ardent henleyite shiara represented a house at swimming hockey athletics table tennis drama choir and was voted in as vice captain of henley house which she had to forfeit due to her appointment as ga games vice captain of the school of the field and the pool shiara was a senior member of the heavy sea band i hope you enjoyed the performance by our band today shiara a lot different from what we were used to but i believe in a good way she was a member of the school choir the assistant treasurer of the interact club a committee member of the student christian movement was and was on the editorial committee of the school magazine which culminated in her being elected a prefect in 1990 Upon leaving school during the height of the communal unrest in 1990 Shara went on to study her passion which was the English language specifically speech and drama having done numerous exams and obtaining various qualifications Shara is now an associate of the Trinity College London ATCL where she achieved a distinction in public speaking and was the top scorer 
since many of you go for the speech and drama classes and are award winners you must be knowing what i what i'm talking about so today she is a speech and drama examiner for the international institute of music speech and drama where she is a registered teacher and has received a special uh, a special teachers award for obtaining the highest number of gold medals at the speech festival conducted by the british and international federation of festivals from 2005 to 2023 I can go on as there are there's lot more on her CV which I was told by her not to elaborate upon too much. She is married to a planter and a mother of three Trinitian rugby players. So a big thank you from Bishop's College Yara for coming down from Kandy. And I and I know you are it's under trying circumstances that you're here with us today and I hope it was a distraction and i hope many memories of your time on the grounds and the school came back to you today and we are honored to have you with us without further ado may i invite you to address the gathering good afternoon to you all thank you shamali for the introduction um principal vice principal sports department mrs virakodi parents past pupils teachers and my dear students firstly let me give glory to god for this moment which is a blessing indeed as you heard in the introduction i was the vice games captain of our year and it is not often that the vice games captain would address you as chief guest I stand before you because my captain Joanne Roland lives overseas and was unable to make it to Sri Lanka hence I would be failing in my duties if I don't pay tribute to the magnificent leadership she exercised throughout her time as games captain It is indeed a very nostalgic moment for me to be standing on this side of the ceremony and look into your eyes and reminisce the numerous sports meets i've stood with so much hope and dreams just as you today i am sure my mother who is not here today auntie valerie and auntie sunendra at this very moment must have been transported back in time to the sports meet 32 years ago where their three daughters stood in front together Most of my friends and their parents remember me as the girl who cried the loudest on the first day of school. Looking back, I think I panicked to say goodbye to my parents and settle in the hostel. But today, I find it almost impossible to talk about my college days without a mention of the hostel. This was our second home and we were a family. Shemali, Shehani, Juan, and all my fellow hostelers will stand witness to these lifelong friendships which is the biggest opportunity our parents and Bishop's College gifted us. Hostel life groomed us to be strong, resilient and independent individuals who were taught to start and end the day turning to our faith which to date many of us continue to follow. as hostelers uh, we would sign up for anything and everything simply to skip our resting time and this made all of us excel in all the sports that were offered at the time it gives me great pride to witness the progress my alma mater has made especially in the field of sports back in the day we didn't have a basketball court nor a pool but i must confess We enjoyed the outing in the Ebert Silva bus to SSC for our swimming training where we had huge numbers turning up for practices for reason best known to our generation of bishopians. Mrs. Veera Kodi whom we are privileged to have with us today was instrumental in guiding and molding us in the field of sports and instilling important values and discipline of course. Here at Bishop's College sports taught me life lessons which only a school room could have not taught simply because sports is an essential element of education 
and both are equally important in the development of a well-rounded individual. I do accept that times have changed since we were in college, but values and traditions of Bishop's College remain the same. It is these unique qualities that have prompted you parents to have chosen this place for your daughters and it is important to help the school authorities to carry on the legacy that makes us Bishopians stand out from the rest. I have no doubt that it is this difference that attracted my husband all the way from Trinity College. As a mother of three sons, I talk through experience that each child is different. They have their own talents and qualities which build their individuality. It is natural as parents sometimes to get too enthusiastic and overly ambitious. But as parents, we must remember it is not a race. With the correct guidance, your children will find their rightful, rightful place in society. Be the wind beneath their wings and let them take flight. Last but not least, to all of you who took part in today's sports meet. Take with you the times you spent with your schoolmates and cherish the friendships you've developed. Let not the positions you've held or the trophies you've carried hinder the memories of your days at Bishop's College, but let it be an unbreakable bond that would bring you back to this place as it did me today together with all my fellow Bishopians. Thank you and may God bless you all. Non sit set omnibus. And in first place, Kekni Kotagalua of Copper Center.
the fourth loop, short part. Third place, Sarifa Ratnayaka of Fold House. Second place, Shiny Vijay Gordana of Chapman House.
second place, seventh place, be the second of Henry House. And in first place, Nera Pires of Henry House. Also has played a new move record. Because of trick earlier. 200 meters, third place, Pishakya Silva of Chapman House. Second place, Tanisha Aluhara of Chapman House. And in first place, Aman, Amani Kauzi of Pocket Thank you, Ms. Krishnika. I invite our principal, Ms. Shamali Kulatilakahera, to give the next set of awards. Under 16, Shokpa. Third place, Kitlara Gabadiyam Henry House. Second, Shanila Pereira of Chapman House. And in first place, Sehara Jai Singer of Henry House. Place, Isha Felix of Chapman House. 
and third place that is the Tony Walker of Chaplin House. Sierra Deva Clear of 
500 meters, third place Pinidu Pereira Hawkins Hill House. Second Hayati Nisarka Court House. And first Ranu Nilakitia Hotel. Second place, Hannah Daniel of Copperston House. And in first place, Ranuji Nilakitiya of Henley House. Second place, Akini Jaya Nekti, 
a full house with a new meat record. And in first place, we shall feed it also with a new meat record. Third place, Nadia Fahir of Thousand 
500 meters. Third place, Kiara Lingal of Chaplin House. Second place, Barbara Fernando of Chaplin House. And in first place, Shauri Vipamanaika of Haley House.
perfect place. First place, Benka. Best 
firstly, proper sumo. <laughs>
this year's OC has caused us to a unique challenge. Pride is usually an annual event held at the beginning of each year. It is scheduled for the latter part of 2023. With each of the houses making collective sacrifices to overcome the pressure of innumerable scheduled difficulties caused by the inter school sports calendar, we conclude yet another successful event. We express our deep gratitude to our principal, Mrs. Shamal Yenkirita Gela, and our vice principal, Mrs. Krishnika Agadi, who have taught us the importance of dedication and hard work in anything and everything we do. With the strength that is inculcated in us, we can successfully overcome the challenges that confront us. Today's event would not have been possible if it were not for the hard work put in by many individuals. To our head of sports, Mr. Richard Bandar, thank you for all the support and guidance provided in organizing this event. You have shown us how to work around diverse individuals while standing firmly with our feelings. A sincere word of gratitude goes out to our assistant sports coordinator, Ms. Ansha Gambari, Ms. Sanjeevi Bisilva, Ms. Ranga Vienage, Ms. Vienaga Silva, and the rest of the sports department. Her commitment ensures the success of this sports team. Our appreciation also extends to Mr. Himantar, Mr. Janakar, Nima Lankar, our groundsman, and the rest of the support staff for ensuring that everything is well prepared. On behalf of all of our sports women present here, I would like to express our appreciation to the parents who work tirelessly to ensure that children have the best opportunity to achieve their maximum potential at all times. To my mother and father, words cannot express my appreciation for everything you do. You have encouraged me to go beyond my limits, and as a result, I owe everything I have achieved to you. I would like to thank my sister for leading my constant mood swings and always going out of the way to make sure she supports me. I also thank my brother for being one of the most understanding people in my life. I extend a word of thanks to Jani and Anika, Tedar and the Critics Guild for offering their assistance when it comes to all tasks at hand. I also thank Ashali Binuti. Vishni and Amandi for leading the KFC and Western Bands to give a splendid performance in the display today. <laughs> to the house captains, Harini, Vidara, Akini, Kiara, in the years you have served as house leaders, you have gone beyond your call of duty. I thank you all for your constant cooperation and freedom. My gratitude also extends to each of the houses Vice Captains, Games Captain, and Committee members for constantly supporting their seniors. All this would not be possible if it were not for my two very contrasting Games Vice Captains, Serena and Tavis, who have constantly supported me throughout all the difficulties. It has been no easy task, especially with your very different opinions, but they always end up working out in everyone's favor. From formulating team events to addressing rules and regulations to constantly editing documents, we certainly have endured much together. To the athletes, your dedication to the sport, house, and school is commendable. Many of you have faced many challenges in the process of achieving the results today. Some of you may have faced victory and some defeat. But both these experiences help you to develop and grow as sports women. As I have begun, I conclude by quoting Master Shifu, encouraging us to break through self imposed limitations and reach our full potential. The only true limit is the one you set for yourself. Thank you, and may God bless you all. We would like to call upon the following teachers to receive a token of appreciation from us. Ms. Sanjana Gangwari, Ms. Sanjana Gangwari, Ms. Sanjana Gangwari, 